Hello Zero Wasters and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to explore preservatives. So if you have just started making your own products, you very likely have made products that don't need a preservative at all. And potentially even just the word preservatives makes you cringe a little bit. I think that's because we grew up being told that preservatives are bad and this is especially true for food. So we know that processed food full of preservatives is definitely not the healthiest option while fresh preservative free food is good for us. And this is true, but does this apply to skincare as well? When do your handmade skincare products really need a preservative? We're going to explore this in this video and make sure to download the PDF linked down below where I give you for free a list of the most common preservatives that you can use in your formulations. Here's the basic rule of thumb. If your product contains water or any other water-based ingredients such as aloe vera juice or it will come in contact with water, then you need a preservative. That's because germs and bacteria thrive in water. So when it comes to skincare, Using a preservative isn't a bad thing, because preservatives are actually protecting us from nasty germs, mold and bacteria that could grow in the product. Let me show you some examples. A solid lotion made with butters and oils won't need a preservative because it's made just with oils and butters and will not get in touch with water. A handmade cream that contains water definitely needs a preservative. If you don't add a preservative in a cream made with water or other water-based ingredients, it will grow visible mold and hidden bacteria after just a few days. A water-free shampoo bar that will get consistently wet will also need a preservative. There are some exceptions. These are products that have a very high pH, so alkaline products such as cold process soap, or products that have a really low pH, so an acidic pH, such as vinegar. It's also important not to confuse preservatives with antioxidants. In the antioxidant category, we find ingredients such as vitamin E. Antioxidants do not have any antibacterial properties. They are used in cosmetic products with the function of slowing down the oxidation of the oils, and that is to prevent the oils in your products from spoiling and going rancid. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. And before you go, make sure to download the PDF link down below, which is a starter guide to all of the most common preservatives you can use in your handmade skincare formulations. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Take care.